Hello, everyone. Welcome to the new APFA.org, our brand new website. It's based on a new back end or a new engine, in other words, called MemberLink, which is going to handle all of our member data and much more. But that also means the old way of logging into the website is no longer valid. I'm going to walk you through how we're going to create new accounts to log into our new system, the website and MemberLink all at once. First thing you need to do is come to our webpage at APFA.org and click on login. It'll bring you to a login page. Okay, here's the hotline you'll be getting that has your temporary password. You'll see here, it gives you all of the instructions you need. You need to get the temporary password. Of course, in your case, it will have an actual password, not the word temporary password. You take that and then we'll use that for logging in. Then to log in, you'll just type in your employee ID number and that temporary password from the email. You click login. And you'll, you'll be brought back to the home page. You'll know that you're logged in because up in the right hand corner, it will say log out. That would be if you wanted to leave. So this is the first step. Then we're going to click on my account to bring us into member link and look at our information there. And on your first login, you'll be brought to this screen. So you'll see your name and your employee ID number up here on the upper right, and it will be prompting you to change your password. This just happens on the first time. So we'll put in our temporary password from the email, and then you change it to whatever you'd like. And click Submit. Now you'll get a message that your password has been updated successfully and it brings you to the member link homepage with all of your information here. So what happens if you forgot your password or if you don't remember the email address that you have on file with us at APFA? Well, we have a couple of options for you. So let's imagine that's the case. You don't remember your email. You never got the email with your temporary password link. That could be one of the cases as well. So let's just do a simple forgot the password first, and then we'll do the second option. We'll click on login on the home page, and that brings us to the login part right here. So let's say that I just forgot, I forgot my password. So I'm typing in and put in what I thought was the password. Click to login. Let's see what happens. Okay, you have entered an incorrect employee number or password. Okay, so then I can just click on forgot your password. And this brings us to the forgot password page. So you put in your employee ID number again. And then your email address. And click submit. So then it says an email has been sent to the address you entered containing a link to reset your password. Then you'll check your email and you see here I have from member link a message where I can click here to complete the process as we did before for resetting your password. Okay, but let's say that you never actually got the link with your temporary password or you forgot your password and you don't remember your email, right? So when you've clicked on forgot password and you come on over here, it's asking you for your employee ID number and your email. So, you know, let's say you put it in. And then I think this is what it's going to be. Um, I think that's what it is. And I try it. Okay. If it doesn't, then you get this message. You've entered an incorrect employee number, but we do not have that email associated with your record. Please try again. And if this problem persists, you will need to contact us at membership at APFA.org. So you can email that email at membership at APFA.org. We should have a link up here that's going to have a little form where you can put your information in the email that you want to have um, for your APFA account. Hopefully by the time you actually see this video, but if not, you can also contact membership and it is a manual process. They have to go into the back end and, and update that email address and they'll send you an email about that where you can then reset your password. So, and that does take a little bit of time. 
Um, but there is a way for that to happen. You can also call us um, here at headquarters and they can do that manually as well. So, so that's how you do your first login. You know, it's a little complicated because you're used to the old system and now we've got a new one, but it will be good in the long run. Um, in most cases, it's pretty straightforward. You enter in that temporary pass code and you change it and then you shouldn't have to be worrying too much about that going forward. I do want to just remind you that once you log in, I'm going to do it one more time. You click the login button over here. You type your employee ID number. Click login. And from there, you still need to click on my account to get that reset part. Otherwise, it's just going to keep that temporary password. And it's, you know, you probably want to get this out of the way right away. You click on my account and that's when you're going to get that new, I need to reset my password link.